welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is Malcolm X in New York. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about Malcolm X and uh, some of the uh, activities that he involved himself in uh, while he was in New York, uh, Brother Kwame Lillard. And of course, uh, Lillard is the president of the African American Cultural Alliance uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. Of course, uh, Lillard, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Glad to be here this morning. And to tell you how delighted we are to have you here uh, this morning. Because well, we're glad that you have this program hey, on, Brother but, Haney, because you're I, recording history for all our great-great-grandchildren, Brother Haney. But I tell you, uh, the kind of information that you have is worthy of being recorded, because as we said, we've had you know, on a number of occasions. As a matter of fact, uh, quite recently we did uh, Nashville, the Battle of Nashville with you, and you gave us excellent information. And what we'd like to do today is to uh, talk about Malcolm X. But before we get into uh, uh, Malcolm X, let's talk again about uh, Leo Lillard, because okay. uh, right. some individuals might not know you, and, and, and I, I would imagine there are only a very, very few who might not know you. But uh, in order to deal with Malcolm X in uh, New York, let's talk about you in Nashville, Tennessee, and your background and how you eventually ended up in New York. Well, I was a, a junior at a and State University, mm -hmm. uh, majoring in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, the opportunity came for me to become a local leader in the civil rights struggle mm -hmm. in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I jumped at the opportunity, having to count and weigh whether or not it would impact my family, mm -hmm. whether or not that there'd be repercussions on my family who mm -hmm. lived here. Mm -hmm. Unlike many of the leaders of the Sioux City City movement, mm -hmm. they were they were from out of town. But mm -hmm. I was a local leader, mm -hmm. and that caused that always caused some trepidation about mm -hmm. what's the impact of that mm -hmm. uh, was on your family. But when, once I became involved, I couldn't back up. Mm -hmm. I, I had to balance the need to become an engineer mm -hmm. with the need to become a civil rights fighter. Mm -hmm. And and I was lucky enough, and God was, gave me the wisdom and I guess the fortune to mm -hmm. be able to graduate in 61 mm -hmm. uh, with a degree in engineering mm -hmm. and also to become very instrumental in all of the major mm -hmm. uh, critical issues of that period mm -hmm. from the sit-ins and the mm -hmm. lunch counters, the mm -hmm. stand-ins at the movies mm -hmm. to the, uh, the, 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 the aid in for the farmers mm -hmm. in West Tennessee okay. who were evicted mm -hmm. to the Freedom Rides mm -hmm. in 61 to the H.G. Hills protest mm. in 61 summer. Mm -hmm. By that time, as a veteran local person, you become identified. Mm -hmm. And the Klan and the right wing were burning up my cars, mm -hmm. shooting at my dad, and mm -hmm. shooting at me. Mm -hmm. So at, at, the, at the inclusion of the summer of 61, I opted to determine what I should do with the rest of my life, mm -hmm. whether I was going to live mm -hmm. past the summer. Mm -hmm. And there was the issue of the draft board. Mm -hmm. I was 21 years old, mm -hmm. and the draft was looking mighty hard mm -hmm. at me. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I was able to deal with the Quakers mm -hmm. and deal with the issue of whether or not I could fight honestly for a country that mm -hmm. didn't respect me as a human being. Mm -hmm. So I ended up, the Quakers at, recommended I go to Philadelphia mm -hmm. to work with the Quakers and take an assignment as an alternative service to mm -hmm. go to India, take my engineering degree, mm -hmm. and to help the, the, the southern part of India mm -hmm. in terms of its technical needs. So I ended up in Philadelphia with the Quakers Mm -hmm. uh, and that project ran out because they, uh, I couldn't get a passport thanks to J. Edgar Hoover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I ended up getting mm -hmm. a little disgusted, a little frustrated, and decided to take a bus from Philadelphia one afternoon to, to the big, glamorous New York New City. York. Mm -hmm. And I walked out on Times Square, all Baptist boy, mm -hmm. civil rights, mm -hmm. you know, advocate, not a clue what the Big Apple looked mm -hmm. like. And mm -hmm. for the next two years, I tried to explore mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, metropolis mm -hmm. and, and learn the incredible variety of people mm -hmm. and food and styles of life and speeches and mm -hmm. accents mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. of course one of the things I had to do was to go to Harlem mm -hmm. and of course I was a civil rights activist and I would I'd be asked to sing civil rights songs okay. we, sh we shall overcome and mm -hmm. black and white together mm -hmm. and once I was there doing that and a, and a, and a young brother with a, with a really beautiful bow tie suit said brother man you need to come here mm -hmm. the minister Mm -hmm. I said, what minister are you talking mm -hmm. about? My minister is Kelly Miller Smith. Okay. No, he said, not the minister in the South, mm -hmm. not, a, not as he called him, chicken eating Baptist minister. Mm -hmm. Come see a real minister. Mm -hmm. And I was incensed. I was mad. Mm -hmm. I said, what you mean, talking about my minister? Okay. Uh -huh. He said, I'm talking about Malcolm X, brother. Mm -hmm. I said, who is Malcolm X? Uh -huh. He said, come here. That was the first time you yes, had heard. Yes, uh -huh. yes. 
I was I was insulted because uh -huh. my minister was uh -huh. Kelly Miller Smith, Good. you know, uh -huh. Andrew White, you okay. know, A.Z. Kelly, <laughs> and this guy was called Malcolm Mil X. X. Why yeah. would he have a name like X? And why uh -huh. would I want to hear any man named X, right? Uh -huh. So so reluctantly, I went back to Harlem one mm -hmm. afternoon, and there's a huge throng of people, mm -hmm. and there's this little raised platform, mm -hmm. and there's this fiery speech being made mm -hmm. by a man named Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. First thing he talked about was how foolish it was mm -hmm. for people like myself who devoted themselves to civil rights, to making America respect us, uh -huh. and give us a chance to prove uh -huh. how good we were. Okay. okay, and of course, let's hold it right there, <laughs> uh, 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 Brother Lillard, and we'll pick up at the second okay. part right. when we come back after right. this first uh, commercial break. Okay. That's, That's exactly That's what good. we That's want good. to hear. We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is Malcolm.